and uh, good evening to all your uh, televiewers. I believe that all around Qatar, they are all uh, watching right now. <music> As far as my career is concerned, I have no plan to have a business. It's not on my mindset, nor I don't have it with me. Okay, it's just a matter that there is one person who influenced me a lot by establishing this kind of business, which is my wife. Okay, why? Because my wife, she is uh, a futuristic. Okay, and she's a businesswoman. She started some small business in the Philippines where she ran it well okay I did not interfere in it because again she's on that side I'm on this side I am more on career oriented uh, uh, I'm on career development of my career of my profession however uh, it, it's funny that one day I just found myself that uh, I, I'm go along with her on this kind of industry okay uh, and uh, it's just come up that uh, one one of the one of the, those days that she told me that why don't we put up a business? We established this uh, restaurant last year. It was in July 2022. Okay, and uh, it's again the mind of my wife who bought and establish this restaurant but the only difference is that she know how to run it yeah. but she know how to manage it in terms of financials in terms of uh, ideas and me I have this kind of expertise since currently I am working as a manager in a company and I am focusing on the quality uh, perspective oh, because I am a quality manager okay so that kind of things that she has and I have we combine it and then I focus on more on operation it's something that I started it how are we going or what type of foods are we going to serve okay what type of peoples that we are needing to what type of documents that we need to secure okay and what are the things that we need to remember for us to be known and to be right now compared to the competitors because there's a lot of food industry here in Qatar there's a lot of restaurant here in Qatar so operating and serving the same dish that we have so it's nothing new okay but it's it's a challenging to us now to put up a strategy okay on how we ensure that the customer will be with us from the first day until right now so due to my expertise and due to my experience and knowledge in a civil engineering which it's funny that it's from here and to here but it's nothing changed it's it's it's, it's the same it's the same it's a matter of how your strategy adapted here and what strategy you use it how you plan it how you implemented it how you control it how you monitor it use it here is the same it's a matter different concept different view but same approach so that kind of things that i have in my self uh, is the first thing that i used to adapt here in the very beginning of this restaurant Basically, and uh, commonly, we are the same normal restaurant serving Filipino dishes, okay? Most or all of our dishes have the same with other, okay? It's what we are or why we are different. What the special that we have is that I can say is that we are serving a quality kind of services in terms of what in terms of how we deal with the problem with the quality how we prepare the food with the heart and quality we always I always combine it because for me 
as my experience in a quality, following all type of requirement, implementing all the requirement, why can I cannot adapt on this? So, uh, me as the owner, I focus on quality services. Preparation, from cooking, from cutting, from serving to the customer, up to the paying of the bills. So, what I'm trying to say is that the, 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 the food that you are serving and open, there's no such special actually. Yes, we have some special dish like in a sal. That's, that's a simple dish with a, a, a chicken marinated with something and grilled. It's, it's, I think everybody can do that. But what's the difference? It's about the taste of it, how we prepare it, and how we serve it, and how we ensure a customer will go out on this restaurant happily and enjoy. So this is something very f funny to, to hear, but you know, it's very important. For me, it's very, very important. The quality service or the quality of the restaurant should be 100%. Well, this team has been to me from the very first day because I am quite picky on the, on the stop. Why? Because I look on the... I actually, I don't... When I pick these people, I don't look on their skills. I look on their attitude. Yeah, behavior. Behavior, the character of the people. Because whether you, you train them teach them if they are not willing to it will never work so what important for me is that when i had them the first word that i will ask them can you be the co-owner of the restaurant and people surprised why sir i am just an employee i totally removed that word that is not necessary or that's not apl applies here in this restaurant for me from the chef going to the cashier all of them are co-owner yeah. why because without them restaurant this restaurant is nothing so me as the guy who is per head at the restaurant and put effort on managing it will be useless without them they are the one cooking they are the one cutting they are the one preparing so if if i did not put them as me in serving the quality of the food this restaurant will be nothing. Sure. Why? For me, they are the most important people that I need to work with. I need to take care of them. Sure. I need to take care of their family. I need to take care of their needs. Simple gesture to them affects everything. You know, it's required me three months or four months to train them. I used to come here. I need to stay here up to 2, PM, 2 a.m. to train them. I, need to, uh, I used to wash dishes. I need to entertain customer. I need to serve. I, I used to serve uh, food on the customer. Sometimes I used to uh, cook. I used to cut or chops vegetable. Why I am doing it? Because I should not to, to do that. Or I should. I must not do. Uh, I'm not required to do that. However, for me, I want them to see that I am not an owner. I am them one of them yeah. it can be like motivation for yes them and can we make them feel like more responsibility yes i always told to them be a co-owner of this restaurant i will take care of you every time i i i i, I interview this can be one of the secrets of this well I, I can say yes i can say yes because I, it's nothing it's it, it's nothing no secret at all there's no special. Yes, I can say to you, I cannot disclose some of the ingredients that I'm using. Okay. However, for me, the most is how you as the owner or the management care about your staff. Sure. Because I can hire a lot of people. There's a lot of good and skilled people. But is they really care or they just care about the end of the month? It's a different story. How are you set up these people will give you a result i always believe that take care of them let them take care of you it's a 
businessman i want this restaurant to be grow okay to to provide more opportunities in my fellow kababayans or other nationality that they really need to so basically when we establish this restaurant and find and found that oh we can able to achieve what we are targeting to why don't we expand it okay if god's permit us one of this day i am looking forward to to open some branches here in qatar okay and basically one of our main goal is to open branches in the philippines to expand it and uh, as i told you uh, aside from being a, a quality manager as a civil engineer i love to cook okay i used to prepare food for my family and i used to ensure that i wake up early when i go home i cook for them a food okay so something that cooking is already in my heart as i told you if i will be leaving myself as a professional i will be going here in a chef i don't have formal uh, formal training there is, there is like passion yeah there's a passion there is a passion on myself to cook why i get it from my father okay because my para, my father he's not a chef but he's he, he really he's amazing cook so uh, i used to take it this is something i the genes that i take it from him so for me setting up in the philippines will give me another desire and uh, give me another satisfaction as what we are right now seeing lifestyle from nothing right now is something that really i cannot imagine believe me everybody will never understand that i just want to set up a business i just want to start it i don't know what's the what will going on only for me i have this courage i have this personality i have this kind of management level i have this kind of uh, you know uh, proactiveness on the something i have this patient with me on how it and it's turned out that that's formula when you add it it's, it's just coming out you know there's the, the formula is actually with you the formula not, there's no such a special formula on this uh, as i told you uh, it, it's not my it's not a plan it's something come from somewhere and no and then look who i am right now i don't know so sure. something yeah for sure we hope the best for you mr uh, thank you so we much see you inshallah in the future in other opportunity grow up more well, and more and we see you in the international market inshallah in the well if other project. qatar will continue their airport and what they are doing right now to provide support to the small businessman or to the small medium uh, uh, business like us it will be amazing it will be really amazing what they are doing right now is something that we need to thankful you know qatar as a second home is something i need to say always a grateful not only to me all, all, all of the 250 Filipinos that are staying and living right now here. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you to the Royal Highness, to the Royal Family. I, I cannot find another place except Qatar. Qatar will be my second home and the same feelings that what the security that we have you know the the vision and the mission that they have from 2010 until now how the progress in qatar's in qatar in terms of infrastructures in terms of you know uh, uh you know agricultures in terms of every aspect of life social social life I can say Qatar is really amazing, the same as what they have in their slogan. That's why to the Royal Highness and to the Royal Family, I would like to say thank you for offering this kind of country to us as an expatriate. We as a Filipinos will always remember Qatar is our second home and we don't know how to return back the favor to the Qatar government we came here you accepted us you give us a life another life 
far far from what we are expecting and until now you continuously amazed us of the new development from all the application from all the services so thank you so much to the royal families long live and i hope that you will have a good health as always and a wisdom that uh, be with you in every decision that you are taking once again to the royal family it's our sins from the filipino community here in qatar or other community here in qatar we really love you and we really thankful you know, on your effort on your kindness to us and we hope that one day we can return back to you what you have given to us well everybody <laughs> but first of all yeah. i would like to thank yes god the first one who who gave me this kind of wisdom and kind of this thing of course again the qatar government i i don't know what to say okay yeah it's because of them sure. because of them yeah. without them i think i'm not here correct yeah, sure. then of course my, my wife who always pushed me before and uh, who is with me until now to to those in Davior, my two kids that really give me an, uh, an energy every day to work and to, 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 to of course my family okay all the people or no all the the, the, the 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 person who come with me the, the team yeah. yes my my team okay and first and foremost and, and, and last my the, 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 the customers who always come here every day that eat and smile with us talk with us laugh with us cry with us so i cannot say them their words one by one okay they they know who are they okay we struggle also we find a lot uh, we go we go through a lot of ups and down sure. but these people didn't let that uh, go. so really this and yeah and they are these people are so amazing okay so they know they who, who are they okay and really it's very it's 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 been so so amazed to tell them that so thank you until right now they are supporting me and my family and my my, my, uh, my all my colleagues and other friends who is really helping me to 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 market the restaurant even without anything for free so uh, really thank you so much and uh, i hope that i can return all the favors to all of them Fall into you